Hey everybody, I come from a uh, undisclosed remote location to do my uh, 500,000 Q&A special. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and supported the channel. Um, I didn't expect it to blow up like this, so that's uh, pretty amazing. Before I get into the questions, here's a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by The Org. At the start of the pandemic, I was probably, like a lot of other people, pretty strapped for cash and I needed a job. So I sent a lot of applications and it was, I just remember it was very difficult to navigate the uh, like weird UI and it was just really hard to understand like who was the hiring manager. Um, so I'm really happy to introduce the sponsor of this video, The Org, a website that I really wish I knew about at this time. The Org is a great tool for anyone who is looking for their dream job. The Org is a fully transparent professional network with over 60,000 charts of the world's top companies. Tailored to high growth professionals, the Org functions publicly and freely to show off the structure and people of each company. The Org has several specific benefits. It can help you quickly identify the hiring manager for the job you'd like to apply to and research their background, allowing you to see who will be working with you internally and externally in terms of sales, partnerships, and product. The Org also has an in-house editorial platform called Iterate, which provides lots of info that is extremely helpful in informing your job search process. Overall, the Org is an amazing resource for job searches and really simplifies the structure of companies you might be interested in. If you'd like to support this channel, sign up for the Org using my link below. It's completely free. Okay. Get into the questions. Um, the first one is from Tanner Bronkart. Um, he asks about how I'm able to stay motivated to keep creating content. I really like ideas and I really like making films. So naturally, I just kind of find some sort of intrinsic motivation doing that. I also just read a lot and I tend to get really interested in a certain idea. Recently, for example, there was a lot of uh, discussion about the manosphere and then my own sort of personal life, kind of uh, thinking about masculinity, and stuff like that. And that was something that I really wanted to explore and research. So I just kind of went into researching that and making a video about that and uh, hence the Manosphere video. I, that's usually just how most videos happen is that I just kind of pursue an idea that I find really interesting and then naturally just kind of make a video about it. I kind of use the videos as like an excuse to um, explore an idea or theory that I'm really interested in. So this person asked me about the first kind of philosopher, philosophical concept I got into that kind of sparked my curiosity about philosophy. This was in high school. I ended up watching Zizek's Pervert's Guide to Ideology, and it just really opened me up to the just idea that you can look at the world in so many different ways and especially his kind of critique of ideology and how ideology is everywhere um, I found that very interesting thought-provoking guided me to a lot more literature about it so I definitely credit Zizek as as my first major influence this person asks me if I will please make more jazz albums and I get a decent amount of comments that are uh, crediting me with the music on my channel. I don't have any role in the music. That is done by Housecat. You can check out his channel. He makes really good music. Um, he uh, definitely should be taking all of the, the credit when it comes to the music in the channel. And he'll, he'll definitely make more jazz albums. This person asks uh, about whether I am more introverted or extroverted. In uh, before high school, I was definitely more introverted, and then halfway through high school I became more extroverted. Um, I think it was partially I just like realized that a lot of my favorite memories in life were with other people, and you kind of got to get out of your shell if you want to have more of these kind of nice social moments. Um, but depending on the group I'm with, it's very relative. Like I have friends that are a lot more outgoing than me. I also have a lot of friends that are way more shy and kind of uh, introverted. I think when I took like the ocean test uh, in like one of my undergrad classes, I'm literally like in the middle. So 
yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I can function okay uh, socially, but like, you know, every once in a while I need a little bit of a break. This person asks about the podcast. Um, I actually just recently reached out to a lot of uh, potential guests and I've had a lot of responses, so I'm definitely going to continue the podcast um, and uh, stay tuned. Yeah, I'm not going to answer that one okay um what kind of music do i listen to so i listen to like uh, any genre which is like what most people usually say um i recently really liked the new kenny beats tape i really liked steve lacy's new album i like uh i've been listening to big thief their last album yeah i don't know i just uh i'm, I'm always listening to music so I, I i don't have like a specific uh, piece of music I can I can think of and then I did just recently see Kendrick live so I've been revisiting a lot of um, his discography plus when I made the the Kendrick video lessons in meme culture asks did your interest in Camus lead to your username choice yes it was a uh, uh, myth of Sisyphus was probably the first like real philosophical work that I read um, and I read it because I just didn't understand the outsider like at all and uh yeah it stuck with me and a lot of my like early videos on the channel um revolve around absurdism and um the kind of Camus whole philosophical ideas uh so yeah um so for this comment i would say that especially when you're younger it's good to kind of see your life like an experiment and uh it is you know, it is tricky applying philosophy to one's life, but I, I recently read uh, Suzuki's like uh, Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind, and it's all about kind of, instead of being scared of a sort of feeling of emptiness or transience, which uh, I talk about in the Manosphere video, which is like, that that motivates a lot of us, I think, to latch onto certain identities, to certain goals, uh, ideas of salvation that we should actually embrace the emptiness because the emptiness kind of allows for you to honestly and genuinely embrace the environment like around you and you can live life more freely and uh i think that this allows for obviously you're more receptive to things it can help you adopt philosophies a little bit better to kind of see if it like works for you or if it maybe challenges preconceptions you had um and uh, I'm always more of like, you should go and do things. You should more of like action oriented than like just sitting around thinking because you can really think yourself into anything. And uh, after a while, it's not very useful and life is too short. You know, get involved in stuff. Uh, that's all I can say. Even if you're, you don't know if you're interested in it, just see, just see what happens. Um, yeah, I, I, I also, I, I recently made the George Carlin video. Uh, who's another comedian I quite like and um, enjoyed it and I want to make more videos on comedians and I, Norm Macdonald's my favorite comedian so that's a awesome recommendation I don't know what I'd look into because he's very much always kind of being sarcastic or he has a very dry sense of humor it's hard to tell the things that he actually embraces so I think it's better to maybe look at it as his to maybe analyze his just style of humor in general instead of like his ideology because it, it's very kind of confusing and I don't really know where I'd look but uh, I like the recommendation yeah do you play NBA 2K? um books that I've read recently I've <laughs> I was playing a lot of Red Dead I uh, then got really into cowboys and western novels and uh, I decided to read Lonesome Dove, which is like 850 pages. And I usually don't read fiction, but I love it. I've been, I'm like halfway through it, and uh, it's one of the most entertaining books I've ever read. It's just a straight up cowboy book. Um, there's just so many characters introduced, and uh, it's just constant action. Um, besides that, I just recently read Krishnamurti's On Fear. Um, I read Young Chul Han's The Palliative Society that I'd recommend. I like his, his work a lot. Um, and I read Suzuki Zen Mind, uh, Beginner's Mind, um, and I'm beginning to read Terry Eagleton's book on the philosophy of humor. Those are my uh, current readings. Um, 
it's, it's kind of to do with uh, releasing content and sort of uncertainty about reactions and stuff. I try to kind of diversify my content enough so I can kind of keep it interesting so I don't really know the reception that people have all the time. Um, so far it's been positive um, and I also appreciate the critical comments even if I don't necessarily agree with all of them and sometimes I agree with them but uh, I, I like to keep it interesting. I like to experiment a little bit. Um, I do also like to sometimes just make safe videos for numerous more kind of practical reasons. Overall uh, I try to kind of embrace the uncertainty and I'm kind of thinking of making a video about that and like how creativity kind of requires you to deal with some level of pain and kind of to go through your fears and, and stuff like that because I think I, I was a little bit kind of stuck in a funk for a, for a while regarding creating stuff and I'm kind of coming out of that and I think it involves a certain level of it's cheesy, but like uh, having some some sort of self courage and like believing in what you're making, and uh, that looks like that's all of the questions. So, thank you to everyone that wrote in a question. Thank you to everyone who subscribed, uh, who shares my videos, who comments, sends me messages. Um, I'm trying to get through a lot of them, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, hopefully see you again at uh, 600,000 if that ever happens but uh thank you